My name is Valerie Sandoval. I was a lab technician and I performed the dissection. My name is Victoria Botello and uh, I was the maintenance crew and I made sure everything was put in report. My name is Vanessa Morales. I am the videographer and I filmed the lab. My name is Rebecca Gonzalez and I was a supervisor and I managed my oh, team's yeah. time wisely and I made sure they were doing what they were supposed to. And we dissected a lab. Today we will be discussing the external functions of the rat. These are the viruses, also called whiskers, which is a sensory function which helps them judge the size of an opening they're about to pass. That is the nares, um, the nares, and nares is plural. It is the opening to the nasal cavity. There are two parts to the female urogenital structures of a rat the urethral orifice and the vaginal orifice. The urethral orifice is the uh, opening to the urethra, which is part of the urinary system. And the vaginal orifice is the opening to the reproductive system. That is dorsal, the that is ventral, that is anterior, and that is posterior. The purpose of this lab is to dissect the digestive system of a female rat. We will be identifying the structures of the digestive system and their functions. My name is Rebecca Gonzalez. And my name is Vanessa Morales, and today we will be discussing the safety precautions for our dissecting lab. One example would be to wear protective clothing, such as aprons, goggles, and gloves. No playing around, like don't run around in, during the lab because you're supposed to be very careful with the organism you're dissecting. Be careful with tools, for example, don't run with a scalpel because you're going to get hurt. Um, you must follow given instructions. Your teacher is much more aware about the organism that you're um, taking care of. So, um, do not dissect organism while holding it. You know, when you're holding an organism, you risk the chances of cutting your skin or harming yourself. And you must clean up and disinfect when finished because it is a very um, messy procedure and you have to clean up your area as well as wash your hands when you're done. The small intestine serves as ingestion and digestion. The cecum stores food. The stomach starts the digestive process. The liver serves as to manufacture bile, and the large intestine serves as the lymphatic organ in immunity. The esophagus empties food into the stomach. The spleen works as immunity. The pancreas is both for, um, works as um, digestive and hormonal and the rectum leads to the anus and the mesentery connects the small intestine to the colon.
Today we'll be comparing a rat which is a vertebrate and a squid which is an invertebrate. A rat has a backbone while a squid does not. A rat makes up less than 10% of animals on earth while a squid 90%. A rat does not have a kidney but a squid does. Like most animals and plants, they're both composed of cells, they both have cecums, they both are multicellular and a part of the animalia kingdom and they both have eyes. Thank you.